Hello everybody, this is John Evans and you're watching another episode of Mid Mod Money, the show that teaches you how to buy and sell vintage items for a profit. Thank you for watching this internet program. Thank you for liking and subscribing. We couldn't do it without you. So uh, we got a great thrift store haul today and it's from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where I live. Uh, it's an art heavy haul. Now I sell a lot of art. So in my booths at the antique malls and uh, through Facebook Marketplace and a little bit on eBay too, you can make a lot of money on art if you know what you're looking for and if you Google things properly. So let's take a look at the, the haul in question. First thing I found was this. Ah, these guys, look at this. These are fork, spoon, knife. Rare to see the knife. You see a lot of these fork spoon combos from the 60s, carved with the tiki stuff. This has got the knife. This was $6.99 half price. And uh, because it is tiki adjacent, as we say on the show, uh, I purchased this for $3.50. I'm going to try to get 18 bucks for the set of three because, like I said, it's got the Polynesian feel and uh, those sell. So let's take a look at the next thing. Another thing I sell a lot of are these glass sets, mid-century glass sets. Beautiful green and gold and black. Kind of bumpy, textured, as we like to say. These were a buck a piece for eight. I found a complete set of eight of these for eight dollars. These sets of eight, these glasses in the mid-century, especially with the greens and the oranges or the turquoise, these sell between 42 and 48 bucks. So I hope to get 48 and make $40 profit off of eight mid-century glasses. How about that? Pretty impressive. Okay, next thing I found, even more impressive because I bought this off a dealer. Yo. This is Pebble Art. Pebble Art Kit Cats. Or gravel art. Some people call it gravel art because you can see it's textured. This is different color gravel uh, arranged in a fashion to make a beautiful portrait. This was something people did in the 60s. People got really crafty in the 60s and people loved Siamese cats in the 60s. So this has the great 60s look. This is what you're looking for when you're talking about 60s stuff. This Siamese cat type stuff and the fact that it is Handmade gravel art. It is a one-off at least, you know, I, they had kits so people would, you know, they could arrange it in any color they wanted. So this person went with this uh, Pretty plain on the back, but this was $9.99. I have this on eBay. I'm asking $51 to start and I hope it goes Higher than that, but 51 is where we're where we're at with that. Okay, so the next Thing that I found actually we're down to our last two things and again art and this is an original piece of art from the 1980s oh here we go that look at this this is done by a woman named Gloria Irvine and you can't really see it but the paint is very textured it's very it's laid on very thickly so uh, and it is signed it's an original this is from the 1980s. She also did stuff in the 70s, but uh, based on what I researched, this is more of her 80s stuff. Her stuff goes from 50 to 100 bucks. I would like to get 40 bucks for this. If I could get 40 for it, not have to ship it, put it in my booth. I paid 649 from the St. Vinnie de Paul. 649. I'm gonna get 40 for it, maybe 50. So you're looking at $30 profit any way you slice it on the Gloria Irvine original art. All right, we're down to our last thing, and this is spectacular. I, we are in uncharted territory here, people. We're through the looking glass because I've never seen this particular item before in my life. And I bought it without knowing exactly what it was. I bought it. So let's take a look. I mean, I know what it is now, but I didn't when I bought it. This spectacular piece of 1960s art. This is 
copper tiles with a mid-century modern design. The long necks and the lines, this definitely qualifies as mid-century modern. This is by a woman named Judith Danner. Now, I did not know this at the time. I bought this. This was $45 from a place called Zicknax, which I love Zicknax. Shout out to them. But um, I asked if they'd do any better on it because I buy a lot of stuff there. I said, that seems high. And they said they'd sell it for 40 bucks. So I've got $40 in it plus tax. And I looked these up. Actually, I looked, I tried to look it up. And then my girlfriend, the other part of Deal Team 6, came through and said, Google Judith Danner copper tile art. And I Googled it. And I'll be darned if... Four or five things came up, and this exact thing came up, and someone on first dibs wanted $1,400 for a pair. Another person, different Judith Danner copper piece, wanted $495 for hers. So I think this is part of a pair, um, and I know that first dibs is that crazy website where people ask ridiculous prices, but you just don't see these on eBay. You don't see them for sale very often. So you know there's something about this. And I'm going to put this on eBay, even though it's heavy. Uh, the fact that you can ship it flat is kind of good. So I want to do that. Um, but this uh, will sell minimum for me $250. That's my, that's my asking price, $250. Maybe I'll get down to two. But I'm going to start it up at $250 and see what happens. Maybe eBay, it goes higher than that. Who knows? So let's look at the total haul. I spent $67. $67.50. And when it's all said and done, I'm going to try to get $367. So almost $300 profit off of that stuff, which I found locally and uh, in a period of about a week. So... People ask, how do you how do you find all this stuff? I a repetition. I go to a lot of thrift stores. I mean, I'm going to 20, 30 a week. So uh, follow my methods. You could do it too. Keep watching Mid Mod Money on YouTube. And remember to always round up.